and hello there. We're going to give you a quick review of Crafty Survivors, another roguelike bullet hell type game. This is very small, extremely small, very early access, uh, but still with all that very small stuff going on there and it's not too in depth. Uh, so it's, you know, because it's not too in depth, it's just going to get a 5 out of 10, but it does have depth. It not, doesn't, I'm not saying it doesn't have any, and 5 out of 10 means, yeah, go ahead and play it. It's kind of fun. But just since it's early access, you're not going to have like a whole huge, big experience with it. You're going to have, you're going to have fun with this game, but it's not going to be fun for like, you know, a week later type thing, I assume. I haven't played it for a week, but I probably would get bored of it after a week of trying to play this game. But for a day or two, it's fun, and it's probably worthwhile for the price tag. Very simple, easy, easy on the eyes, graphics, very small. This is your upgrade center, basically. You have a nice village for an upgrade center, and then you upgrade your building. You get materials, it gives you, you know, more buffs and stuff like that for your character. This guy's got more damage and stuff like that. And you have all your materials. You get gold, and you get wood and stone throughout the levels. And you do have different characters, so you're not playing the same character over and over again. But when you go to the fight here, it has different resources and stuff like that. You get to find different materials. And uh, each of these ones is a different map. And this is like very early so far. And then also, uh, after every map, one of these things will be highlighted, or one or two, or even all of them, will have special effects. This one here right now is double gold. You could get extra resources, and uh, whatever else they're going to add for different buffs for these different levels. It's, so that's kind of neat. You're not going to have the same thing. You can pick and choose what you're, where you're going to farm or wait for buffs. You just go into a level kill yourself. It doesn't matter, because, you know, die and get to keep all your stuff. But so far, there's just four characters to unlock. I don't know what this guy is yet. I'll probably unlock him. It probably gets unlocked after you finish this whole first a level chain basically for all the nodes but you start off with this little chef guy right here kind of neat uh he you know he's really strong with throwing like stoves and uh, and uh, fridges and stuff like that for different cold and hot effects and salt and pepper in your eyes and all that kind of stuff and synergy attacks and you know chops up with his knife uh, very explosive you can make him really strong or you could just end up dying a lot uh, who knows but uh, yeah just play the game you got the, the sculptor guy he's kind of neat drops down statues you hit them uh, area effects explode off of them they blow statues blow up and all that kind of stuff and do their own attacks and they got multiple statues and multiple effects going on it's kind of kind of kind of neat a different gun play style and this one here i like this character here uh because you know you, you, this one here the extra dodge is uh, she can dodge and do damage it gets extra of those it connects to threads with lightning and stuff like that big huge lightning bolts and then you get like you know some cheesy scissors flying across the screen and some yarn balls and stuff like that so yeah let's take a look at the map you, you still only get like three different three little hearts basically and that is it so if you take three hits you're dead and that's how the way but you hold the button down you can attack the way you want uh, when you want type of thing for your attacks you know she can dodge and do damage oh that shouldn't hurt me it's supposed to be invincible when you dodge uh, but yeah you have the different effects there's the shocking thread I'm talking about there it was light up only that one lit up anyways but yeah you just run around like this and then uh, eventually go off there you go kill them all nice and easy and you level up, you get four choices to pick from. The skills only go up to level five, but there are synergy skills uh, going on for like um, lots of the skills. And you can't pick them all. You can set the skills to automatic or, you know, manual. And you have your special abilities. She doesn't have a big special ability like the cook has to blow everything up after after a while. She just gets more dodges and stuff like that uh, for her for her special skill that does damage. But yeah, you know, I, you know, pick all this stuff up here. You know, choose your skills and so on. There's scissors. And other special effects. Level up, so level up that thread right there. Why not? So this is what the game is like. It's a ba basically square map. Level up, certain amount of guys to spawn. There's a little heart, uh, healing item right there, and those will respawn too as long as you know how to, you know, you know, run around the map and stuff like that. A small square map. Uh, the guys are all basically the same so far in his first first uh, few levels. They're all the same purple. They're guys with different special effects, you know. Uh, and that, you know, special effects, uh, some of them blow up, all that kind of, all that kind of fun stuff. You know, some real fast guys, slow guys, tanky guys, mini bosses, all the different things you could expect from these basic games. It's basic, you know, simple, basic, but still fun and addictive. Uh, easy on the eyes, graphics, not too complicated. So it's going to be really easy to run on like any computer type of a deal. And uh, get complicated with a whole bunch of guys and stuff like that. You're not going to be having any uh, silly slowdowns like some of the other games that reviewed have. Uh, because you know, even though they have simple graphics and a lot of guys in them, they you know have unnecessary slowdowns and things like that. Uh, this one hasn't had anything like that so far. There's been no pot, no uh, no uh, ill effects that's been happening. This is a chain one. Let's take that one. Why not? So yeah, 
overall, it's still it's neat to play. Five out of ten. Uh, now you got a good view of it. There's these fast guys I was talking about. Oh, they got me. Nah, let's just take that one. Just dodge. Get some level ups. I'll have to look for a healing item. That would help. All right. But anyways, that's not just, you know, that's, that's the end of the review. Uh, so this is what it's like. There's a little mini boss right there. Just dodge right there. Dodge that. That was automatic effect going on. Stack up my stuff. I'm just enjoying myself playing this game. Sorry. Let's end it right here. So thanks for watching. And I will uh, see you uh, later.